Good afternoon, everyone. Happy new release day. Happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with a half case random division break number one of the brand new 2018 Tops Inception Baseball. So big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action. Good luck. There are your divisions right there. Let's randomize each list seven times. Four and a three. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There are seven times right there. Coop, last spot mojo on top. Andy on the bottom. And then once again, four and a three, seven times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then final time. After seven times, we've got the AL East on top, NL West on the bottom. All right, so Coop, with the AL East, Anderson, you got the NL Central, Scott McNulty with the AL West, Paul Coolwit with the AL Central, JT with the NL East, and Andy S with the NL West. Let's alphabetize by division. Hayes asking, are those the only inception breaks on the site? No. We have more Pick Your Teams available once those start to sell out. All right, while you're considering trades, I know divisional trades are relatively rare. Let's pop this open. Let me grab my knife. Let's pop the case open. Let's see which eight boxes we're going to do. It's a half case break. God, a box is spilling out all over the place. There we go. Empty box, yep. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on each side. So one, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be for the right side. This is the second half of the division, which is already sold out. So I'm just going to keep those right there off to the side, right on the camera. So, and we'll do that right afterwards. So there's four and four on each side. There you go. Seven cards per box, one autograph or autograph relic per box. A lot of fun stuff. Uh, I think a little more, I think a lot more prospect heavy on this. All right. JT's asking maybe East for East. Scott Cooper, I don't know if Coop is in, in the room right now, JT. We'll give it a couple extra seconds here. All right, looks like not. Trade window close. Let's print and rip. All right, good luck, everybody. So the list you saw on the previous screen remains the same for our first break of the day. All right, good luck, everyone. Sub Rex, uh, I think each division was about ninety dollars a division for a eight box half case break. These base cards on the bottom and the hit right there. Okay. All right. Good luck, everybody. All cards ship in this, of course. Not too many cards to ship. And they're all really nice. Okay. We're going to lead off with Austin Hayes for the O's. 33 out of 150.
And then Austin Hayes will go to the AL East. Coop with that one. Francisco Lindor. Green parallel. Looks like not numbered. You got Greg Allen. Carlos Correa. And Rymel Tapia should reveal the first hit. No, not yet. Jose Ramirez. And behind Jose Ramirez is our first hit. Matt Olson. 203 out of 230. For the A's. A.L. West. Scott McNulty with that one. Let's see if this is the better fit in oh, maybe a 100 top loader. There you go. There's our first auto. Move this aside here. All right. Next up, good luck. And we've got plenty of pick your teams in the store, ladies and gentlemen, so go and check those out as well. There's 32 out of 99, Bryce Harper for the Nationals. NL East, JT. There's Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins. And we've got Victor Robles, Nolan Arenado, Chancisco. And behind Miguel Andujar, we have Patch Auto, Zach Granite. Nice, out of 299, 290 out of 299. Nice patch and nice autograph. And that'll go to the AL Central. That'll be for Paul Cool Whit. There you go. All right, so I think I have a good idea of what top loaders I need for these breaks. Oh, JT saw a Jeter 2 out of 20 auto earlier. Man, I hope we can pull one of those. Rex saying, you were worried about my Dodgers last night up until that grand slam by Baez. Oh, yeah, that, that would eliminate some worries, wouldn't it? I actually went with the, there is value in the Cubs. Rex, I was a winner last night, thanks to your Cubs. I went with the Cubs again today. Good value there. Dodgers are often too heavily favored. 149 out of 150, Bradley Zimmer. That goes to the AL Central Tribe. There's Herman Marquez for the Rocks. And your base cards, Bryce Harper, and all of these ship, of course. Ozzy Albius, Walker Bueller. Nice couple big names in the hobby. And behind Manny Margot, who's been hitting well. For the Padres, we have Luke Weaver, 147 out of 230. Luke Weaver for the Redbirds, NL Central, Anderson on the board. Oh, it must have been from a either a personal box or a uh, or at the local car shop, of course, Rex. Uh, not only because of Lester, but that was a big factor. I, I get I use a lot of different information to make my picks, Rex, not just based on one factor. But there is value there, as as is tonight. Folks, if you have our break menu bookmark, you'll see my picks for today. Baseball picks for today. There's Clint Frazier, ninety nine out of ninety nine. There's Brian Anderson. The base cards and behind Ryan McMahon is J.P. Crawford, 77 out of 99. Nice one for the NL East. That'll be for J.T. Next box. And the second half of this divisional, or second half of this case will be Coming up too. Oh, we got a printing plate as well. Nice. That'll be coming up after this. We've got for the Braves. 
Max Freed for the Braves. NL East JT with our first Inception train whistle of the day. All aboard! Whoop whoop! Nice one for the NL East. More NL East. Jacob DeGrom. I think the Mets should trade Jacob DeGrom, you guys. Maybe get some value out there. Get a big haul in return. All right, behind that Francisco Lindor base card is Hunter Renfro. 15 out of 25. Don't sleep on the Padres over the next couple of years, ladies and gentlemen. They've got a young core of players that are that are growing by the day. NL West, Andy S. on the board. Three boxes to go, boys and girls. It's going to be a busy day, ladies and gentlemen, so keep your orders coming. JaspiesHobbyLand.com. Right now is the is the best time to get your orders in to create the momentum needed to do all the breaks we can possibly do tonight. There's Matt Olson Green for the A's. We'll top load those before they get sent out. And also another one for the AL West, Willie Calhoun, former Dodger prospect. There's Paul DeYoung. We've got Ian. It looks like they, they forgot the foil on that. Come on, Tops. That must be that'll, that'll be an error card then. There's Ichiro, Marlins edition. And then behind JP Crawford is another patch auto, and it's gonna be for the Marlins. A L or N L East, ninety one out of two ninety nine. Brian Anderson. Rex saying, this stuff looks nice. Can't believe it was pushed back for so long. Well, the reason why things get pushed back is they want to make sure they get everyone's autographs. Otherwise, we have redemptions. We don't want redemptions. The greens are not short printed. They're about one, one per box, but they are, uh, they are parallels. So a little less common than the base cards. All right, Jeremy Anderson in the house. What's going on? How are you, sir? We've got Clayton Kershaw back in action, which is nice. Hopefully he stays healthy the rest of the season. Brian Anderson again, this time out of 150 for the NL East. Marlins haven't been as terrible as I thought they'd be, right? <laughs> There's Verdugo crushing it in the minors, but no place to play. And the majors, he may get traded. And another one. You can see the foil not up there on Inception. And Lucas, is that intentional? That can't be intentional, right? It's not like Heritage. And we've got Corey Seager. Wow. Two color patch and autograph. Nine out of ten. Corey Seager. That is strong. Dodger Joe Mojo. Going to Andy S. and the NL West. Out for the season, getting that elbow fixed. Or I think it's this elbow. Maybe that elbow. But he'll be back next year. Nice. All right. I'll put him right next to his teammate right there. All right. And Jeremy Anderson saying, you've seen a lot of those with no foil. Probably a printing error. All right. And the last box of Divisional Break number one, Divisional two coming up right after this, 105 out of 150, Jose Abreu. So let's put you in this top loader here. It's more secure. Nice Jose Abreu for the White Sox and an AL Central. Luis Severino Green. Your base cards, Jack Flaherty, Francisco Lindor. Francisco Mejia, Franklin Barreto, and behind Reese Hoskins is our final hit. It's Austin Hayes, 41 out of 99. AL East, Scott Cooper with the Austin Hayes. No randomizers, no nothing. A nice break, a nice start to our new release day, folks. We've got Pick Your Teams available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.